everybody, it's Matt from The House, and uh, in this video, we're gonna climb the Burton Ladder for the women's snowboards for the 21-22 season. Let's check this stuff out. All right, first up at 360 bucks, we got the stylus. So, uh, what's pretty cool about this board? So, the stylus is uh, just a super easy riding board. This is the easiest riding board out there. Uh, we kind of took a lot of cues from our um, learn to ride boards that we have in our rental side of things. Just getting those, something that's super forgiving, uh, creating confidence, being able to link turns. And the board is uh, really soft and flex. It has a bi-axle glass layup, uh, just has our standard fly core. Uh, it's a true twin design, and it also has that easy bevel base. So it is, uh, it is the edges are kind of raised up a little bit. So what it does is it makes the board really super surfy, very forgiving, less likely to catch the edges. Um, and then just our, you know, pretty much, you know, maintenance free uh, extruded base on there. So if you're looking for a board that's, you know, just fun, easy to cruise around on, you're just getting started. Uh, if you're, you know, even like a, just a mild intermediate, uh, the stylus is a, is a killer board for that. Perfect. All right, next up, the Hideaway, jumping up to $400. Um, so a little bit more of that beginner to intermediate style board. So uh, what are we getting for a couple extra bucks on this board? Yeah, so here you're jumping up to uh, the Superfly core. So a little bit lighter weight core, but also just the rest of the board is designed you know, just more for just kind of that weekend warrior. Somebody that wants something to just cruise around on. Um, actually, it, you know, you get caught in some snow, this board will actually be uh, really good in some deep snow because it is tapered, uh, set back a little bit. It is our flat top end, so it's flat with the early rise to it. Uh, and it has a base bevel in the front called cruise control. So it's just in the front of the board. So the board just turns in really easy, but you do have those you know flatter sections underneath your feet. So it still holds a, a really good edge. So um, definitely one of the uh, best looking boards in our life. Oh my God, it's amazing. Opinion. Yeah, it's a killer board. Killer, great looking board for 400 bucks, but yeah, if you just want something that's fun, easy to ride, cruising around on, um, you know, you're not throwing yourself off of 50 foot booters, that sort of thing, you know, the hideaway is a great board, so yeah. And I always say too, on this one, you know, like if you're that, even if you're just a beginner rider, but you're pretty athletic and you catch on to things pretty quick, um, definitely a great what place to spend a little extra money because uh, you're not gonna outgrow the performance on this board too quick at all. Yeah. All right, next up, we're gonna check out the Yaysayer. Uh, coming in at 450, this board, uh, comes in a couple bends too, because it's a real good all mountain, go anywhere, do anything board, right? Yeah, um, yeah, kind of like you, you just nailed it. It's like one of the best all around all mountain boards in our line. It is a uh, it is a twin tip. It's set back just slightly, so it has more of a directional feel. But it is available in our flat top bend or the flying V. So flat meaning it's flat to the middle with the early rise rocker to it, uh, or the flying V, which means it's rockered in the middle and you have the camber sections right underneath your bindings. So offering a little bit more float and powder, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but you're bumping up to this one, you're getting a uh, triaxle glass layup. So it's going to be stiffer torsionally, it's going to have a little bit more power, a little bit more snap than what uh, a biaxle glass um, that the previous two boards had. Perfect. So, um, still just a, a basic extruder base on this. We just found that, you know, this customer, they just, they just want to go. Yeah. So, um, uh, scoop nose and tail, so it tracks really straight. So just a, a ton of board for the cash and graphically really strong too. You know, nothing too super girly, but you know, really clean. So you can, you know, pop it with a nice bright um, kind of coral colored, you know, scribe binding or just, you know, make it darker with some black, you know, just a straight up black binding. It looks really cool, so. Yeah, it's one thing Burton's always been really, really good at is pretty much any of the bindings match almost any of the boards, yeah, it's, so. It's like they work in the same building. It's weird, crazy, crazy. right? All right, next up, we're gonna check out the Rewind. And this is definitely really, really, really cool board in the lineup. And this one, we're going to 470. Um, so there's obviously some stuff right on top that we can check out. We can see we're getting, when you spend that little extra, a couple extra bucks, right? Yeah, um, so about 20 more bucks, you're getting a lot. So really, uh, you know, depending on what kind of riding you're doing, this is a true twin tip. So if you are, uh, I mean, these boards just, they ride really good everywhere. But, um, you know, this is definitely, you know, fully symmetrical, rides switch in the park and everywhere, just really good. It does have the pure pop bend, so it does have camber just through the middle of the board. Um, you go to a centered base as well. So for 20 more bucks, you're getting a, you know, a faster, better quality base. Um, but definitely a, a lot of stuff going on with this board. It's called our Phileo Flex. So what we're doing here is we have these pads on here. It's not that this part of the board is raised up. It's that the rest of the board itself around the mounting system, which is the channel, that's gotta be a certain depth, is that the rest of the board is really thinned out. 
And by doing that, you get a board that is really extremely soft and flex. Um, but then we put a triaxial glass over the top of it, so torsionally it's still stiffer. So press is easy, rides really easy, you know, wraps around rails, that sort of thing. But when you actually get you know, off some jumps, that sort of thing, um, the torsional rigidity will kick in and it's not like just this normal floppy you know, noodle. So basically what these pads are for, they're just spacers for the bindings, so the, you know, it's not teetering on there. So, but dampens vibration and all that. So this is a super fun board. I've been, I've ridden this board myself in a 52 and it's awesome. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, and this thing, the other cool thing about this board too is you notice the graphic actually goes this way. So um, I'm assuming this one, basically it's got that squeeze box that goes on that angle too. So this is left foot and right foot. Forward, yeah, so, so. The, the way we, we call squeeze box is how we profile out the core. So they're thinner underfoot, they're uh, thicker on the outsides of the bindings. And most boards that's, you know, runs, you know, perpendicular to the edge. But with this, we actually take those humps and we shift them at 15 and negative 15. So when we do that in a true twin, uh, because if you're, let's say your regular foot, this is the nose, your goofy foot, that's the nose. So there's always a right foot and a left foot because everybody's riding a positive and negative angle. Having these things at those angles allows the board to flex a little bit more um, evenly around your feet. Just Perfect. give a little more natural feel. Yeah, definitely a super sick board. and. Uh... Yeah, do you, if, if anybody knows what this is, leave a comment below if you know what this graphic is. Be kind. It's called the Rewind. That's a little hint, so yeah. leave us a comment down below if you know what that is. All right, next up is the Talent Scout. So uh, this board, you probably, if you've been watching the X Games or you know a lot of the stuff that's, uh, a lot of the contests that have been on, you've been seeing a lot of this board from some of the top riders. So uh, coming in at 500, what are, we, uh, what are we getting to this board? Why are the girls all riding this thing? Uh, well, you know, the girls on the team, they're obviously very, you know, aggressive riders and they want something with some power and some snap, you know, that sort of thing. So that's where the Talent Scout comes in. This is a uh, true twin, but it is full camber from contact point to contact point. So. Um, you notice we lose the, the flail flex, so this is you know, a stiffer ride. Um, but still, the fiber or triaxial glass uh, does have you know, the center WFO base, uh, that sort of thing. So, cool. um, that's, yeah, that's what like Anna Gasser, you know, um, Zoe Sinat's uh, been riding this board. You know, most of the girls on the team ride this as their kind of you know, all around park slope style board. Cool. So, this is kind of like that high end park board that yeah. you know, definitely holds its own outside of the park yeah. as well. And, you know, not, not to like pigeonhole it too much, it's like, you know, you can ride any board anywhere. Exactly. I mean, twin tip boards ride great everywhere. There's just certain boards that you know ride better in the backcountry than you know park. But um, this is uh, you know super versatile. So don't don't let you just because maybe you're not sending it off of 50 foot gaps. You know don't don't let this board. You know don't don't think that this board you know isn't for you. For sure. Know. All right, coming in at 550, we've got uh, probably one of the best women's all mountain boards on the market, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like designed, you know, the women's specific models are kind of designed more, um, they're a little narrower, a little softer and flex, uh, but really kind of, you know, designed after the custom, but, yep. you know, in a women's specific model. So it does have that, uh, that twin flex, uh, you know, side cuts, there's no taper to it, but it does have that little taller nose on it. Okay. Uh, but this is a triax glass layup with the carbon I-beams, center WFO base. Uh, and again, it comes in both in two bends. It comes in the full traditional camber, and it also comes in the hybrid uh, flying V. So rocker between the feet, camber just underneath the, uh, the bindings, and then rises up after that, this, which is a little bit more of like a forgiving um, kind of all mountain feel. Cool. And I always say too, like when you look at a lineup and you see a board that comes in multiple bends, that just tells you how important that board is. So this yep. is definitely a very, very important board, um, you know, for that higher end rider who, uh, you know, just wants something where they can get after it and they can ride everything. You can ride park, you can ride powder and everything in between. All right, so next up is the storyboards. This one actually, there's no price jump in this one um, from the feel good, um, but a little different riding style in this one. Very similar construction though, right? Yeah, this one is just a little bit more on the uh, aggressive kind of all mount free ride style of things. Cool. So, um, you know, a lot of the, you know, like Kimi Fasani, a lot of our, you know, pros that are riding in the backcountry, uh, they were kind of actually gravitating more towards the men's boards, like the flight attendant and stuff like that. It's just like, okay, you know, we, we needed a we need a board like that. Yeah. So uh, a couple of years ago, we came out with the storyboard. So this is essentially like a 
like a women's flight attendant. It does have that uh, 10 millimeters of taper, again, balanced free ride geometry uh, past the upturn, but that directional camber and, uh, you know, pretty stiff through the middle of the board. But, you know, again, narrower than and a little softer than what a, uh, like a flight attendant in the men's line would be. So, Perfect. so definitely that good all mountain board for somebody who wants to ride everything, but probably is not spending any time in the park. All right, well, thanks for climbing the ladder uh, for the Burton women's boards for the 21-22 season. Um, if you got any questions about those boards or any of the boards at house.com, leave us some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. Um, we want to make sure we get you in the best gear possible for you and your riding style. Um, like, subscribe, get that bell on so you can find out when all the new videos uh, come out. And definitely, no matter what kind of riding you're doing, park, powder, anywhere in between, get out and ride. Because any day riding is a good day riding. It turned from a yeah to a yes. Yeah. <laughs>